This one will show that the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 minus cosine x over x is equal to 0. So we're going to begin by doing the following here. We're going to write 1 minus cosine x over x, and you have to multiply by a form of the number 1, which happens to be 1 plus cosine x over 1 plus cosine x in this context. Then you just foil out the numerator, so 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times cosine x is cosine x, negative cosine x times 1 is negative cosine x, and then negative cosine times positive cosine is going to give you a negative cosine squared x. And the bottom, you're going to have x times 1 plus cosine x this way. The next stage, you're going to have the following. So 1 minus cosine squared x over x times 1 plus cosine x this way. The middle terms cancel. Then you get the following next. So sine squared x over x times 1 plus cosine x. So sine squared replaces 1 minus cosine squared from the Pythagorean identity. And then you just separate this into the following. Sine x over x. And then another sine x divided by 1 plus cosine x. You need that, and then you can recreate your limit as follows. So the limit as x goes to 0, and then just replace the original expression with sine x over x times sine x over 1 plus cosine x. Then distribute the limit to each factor that's a property of limits. So limit as x approaches 0 now of just sine x over x, and then the limit as x approaches 0 of sine x over 1 plus cosine x this way. Now, the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of x is known to be 1, and the other one you can do through direct substitution. So it becomes sine of 0 over 1 plus cosine of 0, and then you worked with that. So it's going to be 1 times 0, and then 1 plus cosine of 0. Cosine of 0 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2. Nevertheless, 0 is involved, so you end up with 0. And that shows that the value of the limit is 0. Just remember to share, like, and subscribe.